to meet her, you'd never know it. But Daisha Reed has brain damage. A car coming out of a blind alley knocked her off her bike when she was a child. Face processing is especially dependent on the right temporal lobe, and so it's on the side here. Daisha made a good recovery and leads a normal life. But she says she long had a nagging feeling that something was off. It took a really long time, just a few years ago, that I really realized I had a hard time with facial recognition. It's called prosopagnosia, or face blindness. With support from the National Science Foundation, psychologist Brad Duchesne and a team at Dartmouth College want to understand how we recognize and process faces. To do it, they study the brains of people who can't. My main interest is trying to understand the organization of the normal brain. And we use these brains that um, have suffered brain damage to try to make inferences about the way the normal brain operates. Acquired prosopagnosia is a rare condition. Duchesne says maybe only a few thousand people have it in all of North America. About 20 of them, including Daisha, That's are right. coming here to his lab to undergo a battery of tests. You ready? Mm -hmm. Like the famous faces test. I don't know. I don't know. Um, John Travolta. Yeah, baby. <laughs> the chin, you can't deny the chin. But they do other testing as well. Same. Can they tell when one circle is slightly bigger than another? Can they remember seeing a particular scene or a certain kind of car? And so imagine that we find somebody who suffered brain damage and they can't recognize faces any longer but they can still recognize cars in a parking lot and they can recognize scenes and things like that. What that suggests is that faces are processed by different mechanisms in the brain. And they do brain scans, MRI and functional MRI, watching which parts of the brain are active when they see faces or other scenes. They are missing certain parts of the brain or they have damaged certain parts of the brain and we see that in MRI scans. And so if the part's not there, it can't act on anything so we can make inferences on what that part does. The ultimate goal? Better understanding of how the brain divides up tasks. We hope that by really developing an understanding of face processing itself, that'll provide us with a model for understanding the way other parts of the brain work. Duchesne says his work won't lead directly to any treatments for the face blind. But Daisha still wants to be part of it. Well, I'm glad if they can learn things from me. It also helped me when I found out what my condition was because it kind of recognized that's why, you know, I don't recognize people because there is an issue with the facial recognition. Probing the brain to understand better how our minds process what we see. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.